Hi everybody. Today's prompt asks us to share something about ourselves that few people know. So I'm going to share a story um, back in 2005 where I went to a silent auction and bid on something no one else bid on. And as a result, I ended up winning this. It was a standardized IQ test that was being run by a neuroscientist and doctor uh, in one of the, the largest hospitals here in Toronto. So I went through this test, it was over three hours long, and I came back scoring extremely high. On this test, if you scored 130 or higher, you would be uh, eligible to belong to the, the Mensa group, and I scored 143. Uh, what the <clears throat> tester said to me was that that placed me, my score placed me in the 99th percentile of the population, meaning only in a group of 100 people, uh, only one person would be likely to be smarter than me. Um, and he continued to say that I could do anything in this world that I chose to do. I had the ability. He says, he's like, you could be my boss, you could run this hospital, you could be a violinist, you could do anything you set your mind to. And it stunned me when I'm standing outside of the hospital on this very busy sidewalk, streetcars and cars, and people streaming by, and I'm just like a statue standing there stock still because I can't process the information. I doubted the, the results. I, I thought that although the, the test was long and it was intense in that capacity, having to focus for that long. I felt that it was relatively easy, <laughs> which I guess makes sense with my score, but um, I, I doubted the results. And I, I just sat there thinking, so if these results are fairly accurate, that means that anything I've never tried is only because I think I can't. Any, any limitation I've placed is placed by me. And that was a huge uh, turning point and moment for me. I did go home and tried to get into Mensa to see if my score was indeed, I thought, okay, this will prove it. If Mensa takes me in, it's true. And they did. <laughs> I didn't actually go through with it. I didn't join, but I did their test. Um, and yeah, so I was like, huh. A thought, a little genius walking around. Now, before I finish that this story, I just want to say that I don't think IQ tests are are usually um, a positive thing, right? For people, they can often be harmful. In my case, my story happens to be positive. I think in many cases, IQ tests can be harmful because people feel, oh. I can only do this, or I'm not good at that. And I don't think IQ tests are a good predictor at all of how one will fare in life, how one will um, move forward. You know, there are so many other, so there are so many aspects of being a social being that an IQ test does not uh, account for. But in my case, it opened up an entire world and since then, I have allowed myself to try many, many things that I would never consider because of this experience. So there you go. There's genius in the crowd. <laughs> I still find it kind of funny and a little hard to believe. And I can't say that I think that I'm intelligent, but genius is you know, and the other thing is, the line between genius and madness is very small. <laughs> okay, I'll stop here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.